Good morning, everyone. So we are just going to do a quick hike today, 5.1 miles at Golden Canyon or Golden Gate Canyon State Park. It's going to be the Black Bear. I don't know if you can see that sign. We're at the trailhead, the Black Bear um, Horseshoe Loop. It's about 1,100 feet elevation gain over the first two miles. So good quad buster, but thought it was going to be about 30 degrees today in the morning, getting up to high 42, but right now it's about 12. So pretty cold and we're just going to get started to get our blood flowing. So anyways, here we go. So Remy and I are stopped for our first snack break, probably maybe just one snack break since this is a short hike. Definitely warmed up, so I had to take my hat and gloves off, which is nice. Um, sun came out. Pretty, pretty easy hike. A couple of snow patches that are icy, but nothing that you had to wear like micro spikes or anything like that. Um, and let's see, trails, definitely not crowded, definitely not crowded, makes it... Um, easier to go to the bathroom <laughs> anywhere you want um, off the trail. Um, and yeah, if um, you're trying to do this hike, it is really great for dogs that have a lot of athletic ability, not necessarily older senior dogs, because the climbs are pretty steep and there are a couple of good scrambles. I would also just suggest not taking kids on this uh, trail either. I did this one in the summer and I saw a dad carrying his kid all the way back because it was just so hot um, and they didn't have enough water. There's no water sources along this loop. So just keep that in mind. If you're here with a dog, you'll have to carry water, um, particularly in the summer when it can get really hot on the north side of the loop where you're exposed to the sun. But anyways, Remy, you having a good time? Are you having a good time? Yeah, I think you're having a good time. Are you ready for your snack break? Yeah. Ready for some treats? Can you sit? Good boy. Oh, forgot to mention we are at about 93, 36 feet in terms of elevation. So if you're looking just to start higher altitude hiking, this is also a good area to do that. 
um, you would generally not go over 10,000 feet, so it makes it really nice from a climbing standpoint and uh, working those lungs. Okay, so slight correction is that once I started up on the, say, north, northwest side of the trail again, there is quite a bit of snow still packed down. Um, let me flip this over like this. So not too bad, but can make it a tad bit slippery um, if we're not used to hiking in this type of weather. Little strained, little, little strained when you're on the trail, it's like you're in woods and rocky surfaces and suddenly you just open up into this Aspen flat area. So, so far, the horseshoe part of this loop is very flat, very easy, slightly downhill, because remember we did all that climb earlier. Um, yeah, so if you are looking to take kids or um, just dogs, this wouldn't be too bad of a part of the loop to actually try to go on. Um, so one water source stream, so you'd have water if you had a dog. Um, that's about it. All right. Okay, so just a correction or note that the water source I did see, I wanted to say it's late November, so it's frozen. At this point in time, you still have to bring water if you have a dog. So the public service announcement of the hike today is around dog etiquette. And if you know that your dog is high energy, or as I like to call for Remy, he has a lot of remergy, be the first to pull off the trail um, and try to get at least six feet away. This is not from a social distancing perspective, but it's from a leash perspective. Um, and then also another good thing is to turn away from the trail as you are with your dog. So we're actually going to practice it right now because the dog is coming. So we had success on that one. Um, Remy did a pretty good job. He didn't pull too much. I saw him a little bit. Um, but what you want to try to do in that case, and it doesn't always work, um, and Remy is still working on this, is you try to get your dog's attention and have them look at you while the other dog is passing. It just helps calm them down a little bit um, and gives them a little bit different of a focus versus the other dog that is passing. Do, do, do. So one thing I forgot to do on my trekking poles is actually change out the tips for a more technical tip that it's better in the hard ground as well as ice and snow. So these are slipping around quite a bit. So we'll definitely do that when I get home. So speaking of not having technical tips and it be slippering on the trail and trying to pull off when I see people coming for Remy, um, I was walking down this path here and saw someone coming, so I started to pull off and didn't pay attention to the ground and completely wiped out.
I usually have a post hike celebration with some burgers and benders from Good Times. And he gets a paw bender, which is basically custard with biscuits and peanut butter. I've got my spoon bender.